I'm going to put an example of the ChatGPT tokenizer up here so you can have a look. At its core, this model is pretty much trying to mimic the way, um, you know, humans actually approach a problem. And the predictions that these models make is not based off of this sentence. It's based off of these actual numbers. <music> Why is there no AI model which can answer this really, really simple question? And the question is, how many R's are in the word strawberry? Surprisingly, this question has stumped even the top AI models right now. So we're going to ask this question to each and every one of these three models, which is ChatGPT, Claude, and OpenAI's Llama 3.1 billion parameters model. And essentially, we're going to see what they are going to respond to this. So we're going to start with ChatGPT, ask the question, how many R's are in the word strawberry? ChatGPT says there are two R's in the word strawberry, but clearly we can see there are three R's in the word strawberry. Now we're going to ask the same question to Claude here. How many R's are in the word strawberry? And what does Claude say? There are two R's in the word strawberry, which is obviously not correct because you're three R's. And then we're going to move straight forward to asking Meta's Llama, how many R's are in the word strawberry? We're asking the question. Let's wait and see what it says. There are two R's in the word strawberry, which again is obviously not the right answer. We would ask ourselves, why do this model actually fail at this pretty, pretty, really simple question and obvious question? And the answer is pretty much simple. Before these models, when you go to chatgpt.com or metaai.com or code, code.com or codeai.com, before these AIs actually get the text you type in and send to them for it, and waiting for a response before these AIs actually process this text, they take this text and then they tokenize it. What do I mean by they tokenize it? They take this text and they turn it to numbers. So AI models don't necessarily understand um, words and you know letters and stuff. They just understand tokens. I'm gonna put an example of the ChatGPT tokenizer up here so you can have a look. And essentially, this is. This just helps the model to process the text easier. As we can see here, we have a question, how many R's are in the word strawberry? And we, if we look down here, we can see that this sentence has essentially been broken into tokens. So we have how many R's. So this is one token, another token, another token. So pretty much that's how it is. And we can see that this question consists of 10 tokens and 40 characters. And these tokens are matched to numeric values, right? So the first token is matched to this one, the second token is matched to this one, and, and so on and so forth. And the predictions that these models make is not based off of this sentence. It's based off of these actual numbers that has been tokenized. So the AI model doesn't actually get to see the input that you have typed or the question that you, you ask the model. And when you ask the question, how many R's are there in the word strawberry? What the model does is it uses these numbers and it just pretty much does a freaking guess. So we can actually fix this by taking all the letters in the word strawberry and having that breaking out and spaced out. So if we take this, for example, and go into Meta's Llama 3.1405 billion parameters and ask the question, how many R's are in the word strawberry? We can see that the model says there are actually three R's in the word strawberry. And this is pretty much because we have moved all the letters into their own token. So if you look at the tokenizer here, we notice that we ask how many R's are in strawberry. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So each one each it's its own token. And this gives the model way more information and helps the model to answer your question better. Now, at the time of recording this video, most of these models pretty much struggle with this problem. And OpenAI recently released the ChatGPT-01 preview. Unfortunately, we don't have access to that, but I 
I would definitely make a video once we have access to that. So OpenAI released that and it was available from September 12th. Now this model essentially actually solved this and way more complex problems. And at its core, this model is pretty much trying to mimic the way, um, you know, humans actually approach a problem. So when you're placed or when you're giving a problem to solve, you us as humans, we go through an iterative approach. So we try to, you know, we try to maybe solve for a math question or we try to solve for a puzzle. So we do that iteratively until we actually get the answer. So the way this new model, this new ChatGPT-01 model actually works is pretty much using this approach. And when you ask the model, for example, how many R's and the word strawberry, the model is actually going to think about it. So the model is actually going to reiterate through its, you know, it's gonna pretty much the way it would work or pretty much I believe the way it would work under the hood is the model is going to have an output and then, you know, go through that and then, you know, until a decision is made. So what OpenAI is pretty much saying is this model is gonna be rolling out in the next couple of weeks and what they are talking about here in terms of how it works is so they say they trained these models to spend more time thinking through problems before they respond much like person would so much like you and i would answer a question or um go about solving a hard question so through training they learn to refine your thinking process try different strategies and recognize your mistakes so think about it this way so the model actually tries a solution and then it reflects on that and say hey this solution is not the right solution or what sort of thing now my question maybe would be how would the model actually know that a solution is the right solution or the solution is the right way to go that's an interesting question i don't know why don't you guys let me know down in the comment section what you think that is or what you think they go about how you think they go about this so that is pretty much about this for this video i just wanted to keep this video pretty short and straightforward this model is definitely like i'm getting a lot of waves we're getting a lot of waves from this model and hopefully we get access to try this model and definitely make a video about it so that's it guys thank you so much for tuning in to our youtube channel today and watching this video we do hope you love this video and if you love this video please smash that like button subscribe to the youtube channel and turn on that notification bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos guys we are really excited to announce to you guys that we have a patreon and if you really do want to support our youtube channel check out our patreon i'm going to drop the link at the end of this video so you can you know join the patreon community and in the patreon community we make exclusive lives we do um you know exclusive videos for our subscribe only members and it is amazing there we really do hope that you would join our patron that's it again thank you so much for tuning into our youtube channel today and once again i hope you have an amazing day mm -hmm.